Hey folks, it's Andrew from Money Mental UK here, the YouTube channel dedicated to money and mental health. Um, it's been a while since I've given you a cow shed update, um, so I thought I'd just give you a quick one. Um, I've just got here, just dropped off some uh, stock from the house. The house is now 90% clear of stuff. Uh, I've got a few pieces in the garage that need emptying out, a few more items in um, my front room that need taking out and then some stuff in my bedroom and in the spare bedroom but and some stuff in the bathroom actually but yeah um, I reckon maybe another six or seven car loads at the most and it'll all be here which will be a delight because then I could get to clean the house and get it ready to get a, uh, a, a lodger in the um, spare room and um, so I'll actually have some money for once um, but yeah, the 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 cow shed, well, I'll show you how much stuff we've got in here now. Bearing in mind that this is a big, big space. I'll turn the camera around and I'll, I'll show you what the stock position is. So this is my front door to the cow shed. I can barely get in, as you can see. It is full. There is a bit of space on those shelves over there, but the rest of the stock is going to go on. Um, this stuff all needs putting into plastic tubs so I've got to buy some more plastic tubs to put it in because um, as you can see I'll run out um, then I can start stocking stuff at the back um, and freeing up some floor space here because this is full uh, this is my little corner to get upstairs um, this is getting full we go upstairs And the mezzanine is getting very full as well. Um, as you can see, that's the mezzanine. So yeah, that's full. I mean, I was going to put some stuff there. I mean, my original plan was to move all my listed and unlisted stock over here and set up this room as my packing. This office is my sort of packing and photography studio. Um, but this is a bit full at the minute um as you can see so yeah i mean i could get more shelving in and get all this stuff on in shelves and in boxes and whatever but that's going to take a lot of organization and a lot of expense as well so what my actual focus is going to be on once i've got everything in here is getting as much as stuff as possible listed so stuff that's in the boxes already those boxes are going to get emptied it's a team batter house emptied, contents listed, put in my um, uh, listed storage area back at home and I'm gradually going to then put some of this stuff in those boxes that have emptied and so on and replace it. That's the plan over the next few weeks so no more sourcing for me for the whole of January because there's far too much stuff here. Um, I just want to get some of this listed. Some of it is um, not worth a lot the low value stuff will get sorted put into boxes to take to the um car boot sale when car boot season starts in uh, march time um the rest of it then uh, i'll be moving to a shipping container because um now i've cleared out the house i've got more room in there than i thought so i've got room for the, the photography the packing listing and stormy listed stock as long as i keep to less than 1500 listings which is what I want to do anyway because um, any more than that and I won't be able to cope with uh, you know working full time as well and doing the eBay so yeah um, the rest of the stuff will go back home the unlisted stuff will go in, a garage, uh, go in a shipping container a bigger 40 foot one though so twice the size of the one I used to have um, so there'll be room for whatever's left of this stuff to go in there as I say, no more sourcing in January. Uh, I might do a bit in February and March, depending upon how all this goes. Because, um, you know, it could take me all of February and March to list this, to be honest, in which case I won't be doing any more sourcing. But yeah, I'm going to list as much as I can and um, get all this stuff that you can see that's loose here in boxes. I'm going to buy a couple more boxes today as well just to get the last of the stuff out of the house um but yeah and these shelves like if you're ordering shelves make sure you get the extra deep ones these aren't really deep enough um so that's a lesson learned 
when I get a shipping container, all this stuff will be put in the um, showers and whatever will be put up there. And then um, get it all in one place and gradually see how, see how it goes. If eventually, you know, I might be able to move everything home because um, I'll have everything sort of listed and new stuff will get listed as it comes in. But at the minute, that's too much effort for me. I mean, this listing all this is probably, you know, could take up to a year so um but yeah i'm gonna get rid of as much of it as i can there's some really good value stuff here as well so should make me some good money and then i can start again in 2021 probably accumulating more stuff but yeah wish me luck i thought i'd just give you that bit of an update on it um don't know when there'll be another episode out but hopefully it'll be when i've got everything in here and i can give you an update on on things then see you soon folks bye for now